What's up guys, Matt here with the Anti-Stress, welcome back to Islands. First of all, uh, I'm gonna thank all of you who is following me, I am on 900 subscribers, almost 1000 and I wanted to th give a thank to all of you who is following me and who have subscribed. Also I would like to ask you in case you didn't do it until now and you do like my content to be sure to like and subscribe and in case you have some tips, questions you can write them down in the comments section down below. I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. So I got a request in my comments if I can make a um, pumpkin auto farm or a pumpkin farm. And I have been thinking about it. So there is the way that I do a uh, farm, farming that I farm my um, uh, crops. There is a um, manual way, kind of manual. It's not really manual, it's AFK. And what I use, it's a tiny task. The tiny task records your, um, it's a program that records your movements. In this case, I do just, I click number one for a sickle, and then in 30 seconds, I go to number two for my pumpkin seeds, and then I go back to number one and so on and so on. So every 30 seconds, it records it. And then it continuously replays it and uh, so you go from sickle to pumpkin seeds, back to sickle, back to pumpkin seeds, and so on and so on. So I created a circle with my conveyor belts. And uh, my, uh, I am changing from sickle to my, uh, to my pumpkin seeds. And then I'm using another program, it's called the OP Auto Clicker. I will leave you the link in the description down below for both programs and the auto clicker clicks your mouse automatically every I don't know I think it's 100 times per minute so after you uh, put all this program to work uh, both of this program to work you will be able to go away and your um, game is gonna be running and you will be collecting and replanting and again collecting and replanting, replanting your pumpkins so this way it's really cool, it has its pros and cons, uh, the pros are that you actually don't have to do nothing, your game is, as you can see I'm not doing nothing, and my game is still working, and this is me two hours later, and another pro is that you can gain more uh, pumpkin seeds, for example if you start with 20, after a few days you will be, I don't know, 25, 30 seeds, you'll be collecting more seeds than what you have, you will not, be, uh, you will not have to buy them. This is a pro and you will get a lot of pumpkins and that's a pro. Uh, the cons are that uh, you cannot play the game. This is, you can just do this when you're away. These are a big con that uh, you cannot collect or farm pumpkins while you are playing the game. Uh, so for this there is another way that most people do. It's um, um, auto farm with totems which I will show them to you. It also has its pros and cons. As you can see, I collected 1,500 pumpkins just with 20 seeds. And I didn't do nothing. I just put my uh, tiny task and my auto clicker. And I left for, I don't know, I went to work and then I went to sleep at night and I just left the game running. So yeah, this is a good way maybe to uh, collect uh, pumpkins in case you don't have a lot of seeds. And in case you don't have a lot of money to buy uh, the totems and everything what you need for um, auto farm. So again, it has pros and cons. The cons are that uh, you cannot play the game. While you play the game, you will not be able to collect your pumpkins in case you want to do something else. But again, it's cool if you don't have money or coins. If you're a beginner, it's a good way to get more pumpkin seeds without buying them. So I put two industrial chests and a crate packer. I'm gonna create some pumpkin crates and you can uh, get some money with that. You can get some coins. I think they sell for, I don't know, 20, 30,000 coins. I'm not sure. So in my first industrial chest, I'm gonna add all my pumpkins. I'm gonna put direction out. Boom, 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 boom. And it's gonna uh, put the pumpkins outside and directly in the crate packer and it's gonna create crates of pumpkins that you can go to the hub and sell them out for I don't know 20-30 thousand coins I'm not really sure of the 
I'm not really sure of the price of them. So this is the first way. I think it's cool for beginners. I think it's cool in case you don't have a lot of coins to buy seeds since the seeds are um, seasonal. You cannot buy them all the time. You can just buy them, I think, in autumn when clatters come to your island. So that's a good way to start a um, pumpkin farm. That's a good, great way to start. After a while that you have a lot of seeds and you have some cash to burn, you can make an auto farm. It also has a lot of uh, pros and it has some cons. <clears throat> and I'll show it to you how to do it. So you go to the hub, you go to this guy here and you buy, I will buy 20 uh, totems of pumpkin and I'll go back to my island to show you how it works. So most of people I have seen some amazing auto farms of different crops. I will show you one of my ideas that I, I, th I have a uh, two or three out different auto farms. I think carrot auto farm and uh, onion. This is my first uh, pumpkin auto farm. So um, instead of having me collecting the pumpkins, there is these totems. Let me just collect these ones here. There are the totems that. Um, collect the pumpkins and replant them instead of you that's that's great right so um, let me just show you how it works really quick I'm gonna plant here a few I, you don't even need uh, that many of them maybe 10 of those I don't know let's just put like this 10 or 9 I don't know let me just remove this away and I need my conveyor belt Conveyor belt. Yeah, uh, so in case if you want the totem to work, you must uh, attach it to a conveyor belt. In in other way, it's not gonna work. So I have my crate packer. Uh, packer. I need my conveyor belt, and I need my uh, pumpkin totem. The pumpkin and the watermelon are uh, actually great. Uh, actually, uh, there, my uh, pumpkin are ready to harvest and. Uh, the pumpkin totem is gonna harvest them and replant again the seed. So uh, the pumpkins, uh, it's great. What is great about them is that you don't need a washing, industrial washer. For other, for other crops you do, like for potatoes and onions, you need an extra um, industrial, um, industrial machine, which is an industrial washer. To wash your um, crops for pumpkins you don't need that so that's great because I think for the washer you need a propeller if I remember really good and the propellers as you know they're not really easy to come by so um, as I show you you can make a small auto farm just few seeds one totem and a crate packer but why would you go small let's go bigger Let's go bigger and let's get more pumpkins. Even more collected pumpkins so you can get your uh, crates faster. Let's say you create an area like this. It's just, I don't know, some grass and some stone and a, and a hole in the middle. And let's say you create a few floors of it. Let's, let's say four, five, six, ten floors, doesn't really matter. And then you put your pumpkins like this. Um, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna add my conveyors next to the hole, facing the hole. So I'm gonna speed it up here a little bit, just so you get, get the idea. And next to these conveyors uh, is gonna be attached my totems. So what it's gonna do is gonna collect the, it's gonna collect the pumpkins, and the conveyor belts are gonna drop them down in this hole. When you make a hole, be sure to uh, protect the glass, uh, protect the hole. I will show you why now. Just give me a second, I need more conveyor belts. So when the, uh, when the crop is falling down on another conveyor belt, be sure to protect, to protect it. Because if you don't do it, it's really possible. Actually, it's for sure that they're gonna be falling down from the conveyor belt. Trust me, I know that by experience. Um, 
when the crops are falling, especially from the fourth floor, that they are falling directly down. They're gonna jump from the conveyor belt and fall and you will not be able to collect your pumpkins. So you make like a box of glass. Usually people make it of glass so they can see what's going on inside. And I'll put another row of conveyor belts inside. I just speed it up. It's just a box around my conveyor belt so my crops don't fall out from um, the conveyor belts when they hit the ground. Um, I'm missing some glass. I'm gonna go and buy some so I don't have to uh, actually forge them. I'm just gonna buy 100, 200, 300, that doesn't really matter, 3, 400. And uh, I'm gonna go and finish the protection around my conveyor belt. And at the end we're gonna check it out together if it works. Um, as, as I said, a lot of people have a lot of different ideas and ways to do it. I saw a lot of crazy um, different um, uh, auto farms of uh, uh, different crops. I have two or three of those, I will show them to you a little bit later. So I'm gonna finish it here. So from the hole upstairs it's gonna fall to this conveyor belt. And from this conveyor belt I'm just gonna add a crate packer and um, an industrial chest to collect my crates. Again, you can make as many floors as you want and uh, that's cool, you can play the game. It's gonna be auto farming itself, you don't have to do absolutely nothing about it, just come back in two, three days and collect the crates. Or if you don't want to make crates, you can just put a industrial chest and just collect pumpkins, doesn't really matter. So uh, this is the pro, the pro is that you can be AFK, you can play the game, this is gonna be auto farming pumpkins, that's for sure. There are some cons, and actually there are two big cons, especially for beginners. The con is that it actually costs a lot of money, you're gonna be spending a lot of your coins on this, at least if you want a big one, at least a 10 million coins for sure. I have um, two different auto farms, I will just show them to you. I spend over 20 million coins on each of them. You know, each totem you need to buy, you need to buy seeds, you need to spend on conveyor belts, and so on, and so on, and so on. So this is a uh, um, con. Like, you will get your money back with the crates. You can sell them and you will get your money back, definitely. But to start with it, uh, you need to spend some money on it, that definitely. And this is a, a con in case you are a beginner. Another big, big uh, con is that you will not get any more, um, you know, when you uh, actually harvest them by hand, you sometimes you can get a few more extra seeds. So from 20 seeds you can go back up to 25, to 30, and so on and so on. In this way there is no way you will get some extra seeds. So yeah, this is another uh, con in case you don't have coins to go and buy them. So yeah, it is what it is, sorry guys. So it doesn't really matter which way you choose, anyway you will be collecting your uh, pumpkin. I just wanted to show you both different ways that I have been doing it. Uh, for example, when I don't have a lot of seeds, I do the first way. Uh, when I have a lot of seeds and some extra cash to burn, I use this way. I just, uh, you know, you need some time at the beginning to set it all up. Just put it all here. I, I'm gonna just do the, the first floor. Uh, in case you go more floors, just be sure every floor to, again, put glass around the, around the hole so they don't... Uh, so the crops they don't fall somewhere else okay let's say now everything is set up I think I set up my crate packer I think I did so uh, I'll also go and connect my um, this uh, industrial chest I'm gonna put one conveyor belt here turn 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 there it is and uh, I am gonna fill it out with my pumpkins and this is I usually put one industrial chest extra in case I have some extra um, 
crop that I want to drop down, I just put it in the conve in the industrial chest and it's gonna drop them down. So let's see if it works. Let's check it out. I'll go downstairs. Yeah, it works fine. As you can see, the glass is protecting that the crops don't fall away from the conveyor belts. Uh, why they are not getting inside of the crate packer, I have no idea. I think the crate packer can just take 10 by 10. I think. I don't know, or my computer is too heated up because I have been AFK for a while. Either way, it's working, so this is a way to do it. And this is the, and then you, when you create your crates, you can go to the hub uh, to, I think his name is Don, the merchant, you can sell your crates. So yeah, and you can go as many floors as you want up, doesn't really matter, but you will burn some cash doing this. So I'm just gonna refill this uh, industrial chest with pumpkins here. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you the other two auto farm I have, so you have different ideas. It doesn't have to be this way. I saw a lot of different people having different auto farms. You can do your own idea, just that you know the way that it works. <clears throat> so there I have my. Um, there, there is my. Uh, crate out of uh, my carrot auto farm let me just run there it's a similar way what I have extra here are the industrial washers that I need for carrots and here are my crates and I'll show it to you just it's it's really similar to this one actually this one to my pumpkin they're just different uh, floors there it is I have I don't know four or five floors, I don't even know. <clears throat> and I have another one, it's an onion auto farm. It's really far away, let me just run there really quick. So there to the other side, to the other side. And uh, this first method that I'm using, you don't have to use pumpkins, you can use any crop, you don't really need to use pumpkins, so yeah. And here is my onion auto farm. I think I have, I don't know, 10 levels or 8, I don't know, I don't remember. I spend a lot of money on this one. And yeah, so here I have the totems in the middle and the crops around it, as you can see here. So I'm just gonna go drop down and collect my onion crates. So I hope guys this video does help you and you can you choose each of the two ways to auto farm your uh, crops it, in this video it are pumpkins or you can use any other crops uh, as you can see in the uh, behind I didn't put a good protection and all of my onions fell outside not all but some onions fell outside as you can see behind okay guys that's all from me for today thank you very much for watching and I hope I did help you I'll see you tomorrow in another video and I wish you to enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao!